A warm welcome to Andrada Vedic Astrology. Today we are going to see how Dasha impresses upon us and how our thought process changes over a period of time during the Dasha and not just in one chart, throughout in our career everywhere. But before that, a big thanks to all of you for liking, sharing and subscribing to our YouTube and Spotify channels, writing in your suggestions, your comments there. And if you haven't subscribed to us, please do. Do remember to press the bell icon so that you can get the updates ASAP. Dasha means a time frame. It is seen that the Dasha from uh, changes for a person, a person is born in a certain Dasha, finishes the dasha of that planet and then another dasha starts. As we grow up, we see a lot of fundamental changes within us. This is because as the time periods, as the major dasha changes for us, we see a different version of us coming up. And we are extremely different to who we were as a child to what we become in our old age. It is all attributed to the dasha system. Now, Dasha not only changes the D1 chart, we will not see just a fundamental change in our D1 chart, that is our natal chart, the most important chart, but we see it across the Shodashvargas, that is the 16 divisional charts and it can influence highly on our career, on our spouse and everything, um, a marriage relationship, children, everything. So it's very important to ascertain what Dasha person is running, where the Dasha Lord is placed, that is uh, the Vimshotri Dasha Lord and in which uh, Nakshatra it is placed in the D1, the D10, everything. And as I have always mentioned that I do take Nakshatras in even in the Varga charts and I... Uh, and it is available in uh, Jehora and it's very well helps me are certain what a person is thinking, what the person is going through. So here again, I am going to explain this entire thing with the help of an example. This child was born in the Jupiter Mahadasha in 2006. After the Jupiter Mahadasha comes the Saturn Mahadasha. That Saturn Mahadasha started for her post um, October, that is somewhere in the middle of November for her 2020. Now, the interesting part is 2020 is a time when the COVID was in full bloom and schools were online schools. The most part of 2020, 2021 uh, were obviously online and things were not as disciplined as regulated because you could switch off your videos and you could do whatever you wanted and so many other things. So most of the children whom about whose uh, charts I got to deal with were generally very upset with their uh, education system, did not study well and then would not want to give good e exams, their board exams and so forth. But this child was an exception. Why so? Because she has her Saturn whose Dasha started during 2020 post uh, November or during November and Saturn is very much placed in the sign of uh, in, the in the sign of cancer in the nakshatra of Pushya. What more along with that Saturn is placed the uh, Mars is placed Mars and this is the and when we check this uh, Lagna the Lagna here is that of Gemini. So Saturn and Mars together in Pushya in the second house, the house of learnings, the house of education makes it much more uh, easy for the person to stay put and evolve as a student, as a learner. And this is exactly what the parents of the child told me that yes, she did end up learning a lot, studying a lot during this period. Again, when we look into the Lordship, the house that Saturn rules over, Saturn rules above the 8th house and it also rules over the, the, 11th, uh, the 9th house, which is again the Bhagyasthana and the house of research. So the person becomes serious, does serious studies and does a lot of research. Saturn is sitting with Mars, Mars aspects the 5th house from the 2nd house and as such Saturn also influences that and the 5th house 
tenants the 10th lord jupiter which is retrograde so we see a strong connection of uh, or around about whatever that you want to say a connection of saturn and 10th house 10th lord again look at the d10 chart there is a very interesting story that is going on so i want to continue on with the analysis of the chart and then reveal the story on to you so when you look into the saturn here in this d10 chart again please do look it is in the uh, sign of cancer itself and it is in the aslesh nakshatra something very quiet adaptive observative all those things and saturn again here forms a relation by its third aspect on the 10th lord sun okay and uh, saturn is aspecting from the 9th house the 3rd house which is its own house of uh, capricorn so now when i ask the parents because i have always associated saturn relation with the 10th house to that of doing some mass work uh, doing work profession related to masses or uh, something related to government services because saturn is also a responsible planet when uh, the government officials are supposed to hold responsibility over the people whom they have to uh, they have their jurisprudence over so i just asked the parents of the child that does she want to go into because they come from a business background and i asked her that she seems to want to go into some either ngo work or a government uh, service she wants to study for her um, upsc or state government exams and, and they were uh, thought on that and they said yes that's what she wants to do and is she capable of doing so because the saturn is making associations with the 10th lord it gives her that thought process to work there always remember that if we have a thought if we have an idea it must resonate in our charts to give us a very strong implication result if we have that idea we should be able to fulfill it so here we see that <clears throat> and the person has it in her chart because the dasha is running and so the career is around saturn and saturn being a responsible planet having a strong connect with the 10th lord in both the charts gives her a thought to move towards upsc towards state government examinations and by god's grace the time frame also has stated when she can do a good job and she can flourish in that area so we whenever we are taking up any chart because it's a young chart i did not look into the marriage and other aspects but whenever you are taking up any chart it has to be very importantly taken uh, into account the dasha system the dasha planet that is going i have already made a video on that that the dasha planet uh, how to uh, put that as a lagna and rotate the chart and see things happen in this case we've seen how strongly dasha gives us a resonance with our career with our thought process so do pay great deal of importance to the dasha lord till we meet with you again stay safe please hit the bell icon for fresh updates don't forget to like share and comment on the videos and please subscribe to our channel